In this video, I'll discuss about the how to determine the direction of rotation of the turbine and also I'll discuss about, about the twist angle and the pitch angle. So let me show you the there are two different types of turbines and you will also see these things in the slides when I discuss about the theory of the wind turbines. So let me give you example. The first type is the drag type turbine, second is the lift type turbine. In the case of the drag type turbine, what happens, for example, we have the one turbine plate here. And this is a typical example of the Savinus turbine. And uh, if we apply the wind force, so wind force will be, let's say it's uh, coming from this direction. So as it, it will strike here and uh, with this, this strike, we get the, some impulse, impulsive force. And because of that impulsive force, this turbine will start to move in the same direction as the direction of the wind. And this all force is because of drag of the, this body produced from this incoming wind. That's why we call this as a, the drag type turbine. So it, it works directly in the direction of the wind direction. And second type of turbine is the lift type turbine. So what happens here is that, for example, we have the one aerofoil. And uh, we have some angle of attack. So just like the simple aerofoil, the wind turbine aerofoil works in the same way. So in this case, what happens is that the in the same direction as the wind direction, we have the drag. And uh, in this direction, the normal to the wind direction, we are going to get the lift. So this is the, uh, the reaction force because of the relative motion of the wind over the, over the aerofoil surface. So with any curvature, with any curved surface, we get the lift force and this lift force component, which is in going in this direction, will start to move the turbine in this direction. And this is the reaction of the incoming wind and that is going through the surface of the aerofoil. So now you know about the difference between the drag type turbine and the lift type turbine. And now, now let me explain that how to determine the direction of rotation of the turbine in the case of lift turbine, lift type turbine and uh, all the horizontal axis wind turbines and uh, plus the vertical axis wind turbines, which works on the aerofoil, they work on the, on the same principle. So first of all, now we know about that the, the wind is coming from this direction, let's say, which is also shown in this figure. The next thing is that because this aerofile, as, as we design any aerofile, so what happens that the aerofile, there's a one cord line which is passing through the leading edge and the trailing edge. So exactly on this uh, location, we have some tangent. So we cannot put the angle of attack or the, the wind on this exactly on this point. So there should be some angle of attack and with this angle, angle, angle of attack, we can get the that the where the relative motion of the wind should be acting. So now let's let's say we we are we are getting this uh, as uh, this is the my V inlet which is the in this course we assume seven meter per second and ten meter per second. This is the incoming wind velocity. And the second one is about the relative motion of the wind. So definitely we can get this direction uh, either we. First, we determine the direction of rotation first, and then we can determine the relative motion direction. But if you assume that this is because we know this thing, so we know that, that this should be acting at this location. So now we have the relative motion vector, and this is the, let's say this is the W. So we, we denote the relative motion with the W sign, and the V capital is the incoming wind velocity and as we know about the the vector vector analysis that we can move the the vectors at any location without disturbing the whole equation so now let me show you and now if you want to apply the the vector analysis rule which which is the head to tail rule so in that case 
we have to draw this uh, vector so that the we can we can close the triangle so the only only thing we can do is that we can only be making the vector in this way so the first factor this one which is the relative velocity this is the first factor and the tail of this vector is connected with the head of the this first vector so if we join them the resultant vector would be the v in so this is not a sh always a case that we always get the v in and the 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 blood velocity vector and they should be uh, connected with the headed head and head to head tail but this can be done with the any vector so in this case the only logical possible explanation would be this one so now we determine the the v the u of the blade that is the the blade velocity and this u blade will be equal to the omega that is the radians per second and r is the radial location of that section or the arrow file which we are talking about right now in this way we have determined that the the how this velocity triangle will be working so now we determine that the, this is the rotation direction so which is very much clear and now i will explain in this thing in a, another way that how we determine that the in which direction the this turbine should be moving okay now as we know about the direction of rotation so this is the the relative velocity that is the over here and uh, as you know that the the drag value will be in this direction so now we have the drag direction also acting in this way and now we will be having the two components of the drag one is the, along the the plane of blade rotation and second component would be along the the y axis that is the direction of the incoming wind so now we have the two components one is the drag in the let's say in the x direction so this is the drag force in the x direction and this one is the drag force in the y direction right and uh, in a similar way i can i can uh, distribute the lift into two components the first one would be the vertical component second would be the uh, the horizontal component but this time this component would be in the minus x direction so now i can say this is the lift x and this one is the lift y and uh, so in this way now i can say that the the resultant drag force would be that now this is not drag force in fact this is this is not a drag force drag force would be in this direction this is the the drag on the geometry because in this direction the wind turbine cannot move and uh, this this will in introduce the axial induction force and that force will be there and this will be applied on the structure of wind turbine so therefore the structure should be strong enough to rest to rest the, this is this force this axial force so based on this axial force we design the structure of the wind turbine so from here you can see the axial force will be equal to the the dy drag y component plus the lift y component and the torque value will depends on the 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 force in the direction of rotation so this uh, torque would be equal to the lx minus dx so i will not go into detail about the all the angles which are which are multiplied with these components but now you know that the how this thing works so from here because this component will be smaller this component will be larger so the direction of rotation will be again will be in this same direction okay one last thing i will discuss and then i will go to the wind turbine actual geometry and i will show you the these things also there so before discussing about the angles i will discuss about that in the case of simple aerofoils what happens that the we have the aerofoil here right now with zero angle of attack or zero movement in the blade so let's say now if i just move this geometry upward so and i just keep the same flow direction so because as we know that the angle of attack is basically is a between the vector of the the incoming wind and the the chord line so in this way the chord line is now right now is this one so we have the this positive angle of attack and same can be done if i just move the velocity of the wind over here so now we have the same thing here this is alpha again same if alpha 
same positive alpha. The only thing I want to discuss here is that now this is the uh, because we have given the positive motion. This is the pitch up that we are giving the pitch angle. This is the pitch up. So this is the positive value in the case of the aerofoils or the wings of the aircraft. But in the case of the wind turbine, the positive pitch angle is downward. So that is the positive angle and upper is a negative angle. So whenever you are talking about the twist angle or the pitch angle, so the positive angle, they will always go towards the incoming wind direction. So this is the incoming wind direction. So the when you rotate the wind turbine aerofoil uh, from the plane of the rotation towards the incoming wind direction, basically we are giving the positive pitch angle. So now let me discuss about the, these different angles and these two components and I will then go to my actual geometry and I will explain those things also there. Now this is there are the two things I will discuss one is the pitch angle and uh, second is the twist angle. The difference between them is is there is no difference the pitch and twist are exactly same. But difference that the, the pitch angle is given on the whole wind turbine blade. So if the all sections of the wind turbine they experience same rotation of the geometry that is we are positive pitching is towards the downward side. So if you give this angle to the all the sections on the on the on the wind turbine blade, basically we are giving the pitch angle. And if you rotate the each and every section along the radius and with a separate angle, separate pitch angle, basically we are giving the twist angle. So on the separate sections, the separate angle, separate pitch angle, this is a twist angle. And uh, if you give the same pitch same pitch angle to all sections, we call that angle as the pitch angle. So now you can see that this is the theta p is the section pitch angle. This is a combination of two angles. One is the twist angle. It's the same angle like we are giving is a pitch angle, but every section has a different twist. That's why we call this as a twist because if you have the different angles, we get, we get the twist along the radius of the blade. That's why we call this, this as a twist angle. The second thing is the theta p zero. The theta p zero is the global pitch angle or the tip pitch angle because if we give the pitch angle on the tip, so that angle will be implemented all the sections of the wing uh, of the wing or we call this as a blade of the wind turbine. So that's why sometimes it's known as the blade pitch uh, tip pitch angle. Also, it is also known as the global pitch angle. This is because this angle is same for all sections. So now this blade section pitch angle, this which is the theta p, is equal to theta p zero, which is uh, in in our configuration that is equal to three degrees, as I discussed earlier, for the configuration h, and then plus the twist angle. So this twist angle will be different for all the sections. And when we when we add the angle of attack, because this is the, right now this angle is up to here is the with the chord line. And definitely for the production of the lift and the optimum uh, value, so we have to must we must we must be giving the some angle of attack. So this angle of attack is here, and uh, when we add this angle of attack alpha to the section pitch angle, which is the theta p, basically we get the relative flow angle. That is the flow angle of the relative wind which is experienced by the wind turbine. So this is the relative flow angle as shown also in the description here. So blade pitch angle or global pitch angle or tip pitch angle, section twist angle, this is the angle of relative wind and so this is equal to theta p and plus alpha. So you know about now these things that the how we determine these things practically. And uh, here I have uh, pasted the one section of the wind turbine blade. Uh, the same turbine NREL phase 6 which we are going to work in this this course. So you can see that I have discussed about the, now this ordination is slightly different than the figure here. So incoming wind is coming from here and this is uh, my bottom section or pressure side of the aerofoil. Upper is the section, suction side or the top side. So you can see that the, this leading edge is, is moving forward and the trailing edge is, is, edge is following the motion. So also this is one way to determine or understand that the which direction this wind turbine will be moving. 
So this is the relative flow angle. The lift will be in this direction. This is the, my uh, torque direction. That is the component of the lift minus the drag component. And this is the blade pitch angle. This is the, my twist angle, section twist angle. And uh, combinedly, this will be section pitch angle. This is the angle of attack, which is here. And when you, when you add the section pitch angle plus angle of attack, we get the relative flow angle. So I, now I think that you are clear about that how to understand these angles, what is the type of turbine lift and drag type, and how to provide the angle, these angles, when you design them in some CAD software, which is, the, for example, in our course is the SolidWorks.